So far here at the Clark County Courthouse, it's been the heavy hitters that have testified here in this hearing. First one to testify was former Strohmeyer attorney Leslie Abramson. And then this afternoon, Jeremy Strohmeyer himself took the stand. It is a very unusual case happening today and tomorrow inside the Clark County Courthouse. Leslie Abramson, a famous Los Angeles attorney who represented Jeremy Strohmeyer in his last plea, is now being called into question by Jeremy's new lawyers. Jeremy's new lawyers are trying to prove that he was bullied into pleading guilty of raping and murdering seven-year-old Cherise Iverson back in 1997 in a prim Nevada casino. Mr. Strohmeyer had consistently maintained the position that he would rather go to trial and be executed after trial than take life without parole. And that Leslie Abramson was absolutely aware of this at the time that they started to go over to the, um, to the district attorney's office to discuss plea. They weren't going to win this trial. They had no chance to win this trial, and they needed to cut their losses. If you look at the work that they did, and of course you're familiar with the reputation of Mr. Wright in this community, there is no way that they don't measure up to a standard of reasonable competence. The first witness called to testify was Leslie Abramson, and she found herself being cross-examined by Jeremy Strohmeyer's new defense attorney. She was put to question for many things that she did during the long preparation for a trial that never happened, but she said many times that she did not bully him into pleading guilty. When we ultimately went to him and discussed the fact that we thought there was an offer available of life without parole, he agreed to it. Um, <laughs> He agreed to it, and I was extremely surprised. He seemed extremely mature at that point. And then just before the noon hour, Jeremy Strohmeyer himself took the stand. He took the oath while wearing khaki pants, a blue shirt, and a pullover sweater, looking more like he'd just come out of a college class than jail. He talked about his relationship with Leslie Abramson and said many times she treated him like a child. She would always want to cut me off and raise her voice and overpower me. Uh, basically telling me that my input wasn't worth anything and that uh, I learned pretty quick that the, to give input would just uh, raise her ire and no reason to do it. I trusted that uh, she was, uh, I trusted her. This hearing to reverse the guilty plea was expected to last two days, today and tomorrow. However, it's going a bit slower than first thought and may extend now into Thursday. Again, the goal by Strohmeyer's new lawyers is to try to get a guilty plea reversed, and that is very rare. Reporting from Las Vegas, Nevada, Wayne Garcia, KCAL 9 News.